We stand at the precipice of history. What you do here changes the cosmic balance forever. You have made allies of dangerous beings, gods and god pretenders. How long before your company involves you in something you can't come back from? Those I serve have so much to learn from you. You are their greatest curiosity, the agent on whom all fates converge. The Dredgen presents a special prize to the Nine. He is an anomaly, an elemental balance, a grand experiment. We remember his trial. It's about time someone taught you respect, little man. <laughs> someone like you? I know you all keep tabs on me. Yeah. You've been straying. You don't even use his name no more. Well, that's why I'm still breathing, brother. Gambit is a chance at salvation. Take it. You were always so afraid Shin would get you. Sorry, old friend. Behind you. Anymore. It's Drifter now. You have proven yourself worthy. Accept this gift from the knife. A gift? What gift? Only two others have transcended their design. The first, an hourglass, counting down with infinite patience. The second, a forgotten blade, sharpened anew. And now, the dredgen. Visit us again. We wish for you to understand what we understand. For now, it is my purpose to speak to you and you alone. But only if you remain worthy. Hold up, you saw that damn card game? No, no, not good. They're giving you visions too. I'll say it straight. I got a bad habit of biting off more than I can chew. But hey, guys gotta eat. And the deal that got me the haul? Yeah, it just looks so damn tasty. But damn, they're reaching out to you. No ma'am, you keep clear of that little blue psycho. Leave this to me. You see her again, you turn the other way, understand? Trust nothing you hear. Do you regret this? What? Judge. I have more agency as an agent than I ever did wielding the light. You lost everything. Nothing that ever mattered. I would die for those I love. You don't understand. No. The clever one is in peril. No, she will manage. They will annihilate her. Then she will die as one of us, gladly. She will regret before the end. You don't know the meaning of that word. She will beg for death's release. 
You cannot kill what has already died. What does it want? You ask the same questions. You never listen. Why does it do this? He's afraid. Of death. Of everything. So it kills. He hates violence. He hates it so much that he'll murder anyone who tries to inflict it on him. What does it want? Power. Like you. No one is like her. We don't understand. She has agency like you wouldn't believe. She can leave this place. We can leave this tonight. Think bigger. She can leave this game. We don't understand. Then I'm afraid it's impossible to explain. I'm sorry. I just... I really miss him. Yeah. Me too. How did you say you knew each other again? Oh, we, uh... Namchi and me were, were buddies. Men a little dive on series. Used to play cards. He talked about you a lot. Said the Queen trusts you to talk to the Nine for her. <laughs> that true? <laughs> yeah, sort of. Doesn't seem important anymore. Yeah. Well, you ever need a shoulder to cry on, I'm here for you. I'm leaving. I'm going to go find them. There is nothing out there for you, Orin. Please don't pretend you care. This is a courtesy, Dredgen. I don't use that name. Not anymore. Your friend Cam says otherwise. Hand to my heart, I'm not lying. You can't even hear yourself. Orin, please! I'm going, Wu Ming. This friendship. Whatever you want to call it, it's over. Try not to get shot. You want to go back to a thousand years of the Traveler's Dogma, kid? Give up your freedom? Fine. You do you. Hey, how you living, sister? What can old Drifter do for you today? Wanna play some Gambit? The Dredgen has visions. They disturb him. We know about those, huh? You the one causing them? Tell you right now I don't appreciate what they say. The gift is showing you what you must see. It is your fate. No. I make my own choices. If that is what you want to believe. Freaking psycho. We have another truth to share with you. The Dredgen should have told you himself. But as always, fear keeps him from true potential. Please, open your mind. I just pull this scam off. And when the time comes, we'll finally be in the clear. Huh. We have 
have enjoyed watching you. We came to say farewell. Our attention is required elsewhere. All right. Thanks for the memories, you lunatic. Anything else I can do for you? You're already doing it. Keep playing the game. The night falls. Out there on the edge, your fate is a war unseen amid ruined fleets. Two women, feared, untrusted, forever at arm's length. Here at home, your fate is a coin in the hand of a liar. One man, afraid, untrustworthy. Forever grasping. You must reckon with yourself. Can you see the path ahead? Do you know the shape of your tribe? Hey, hey, let's be straight with each other. I know the vanguard's watching me. Probably want you to snitch, am I right? Ah, <laughs> if you're considering, I get it. Old Drifter likes to play both sides, too. But think about it. You stand with them, you're a dead woman walking. Gambit's pissed off a whole lot of dangerous people. You stand with me, I got your back. Trust. So what'll it be? <laughs> you got grit, kid? I admire a woman willing to risk the trust of everyone who's ever been kind to her. But let me set the record straight. You're choosing to walk with a monster. Monsters survive. Trust. People change. Priorities change. Stick with me, and you'll see that. Now, as a symbol of our new partnership, I need a favor from you. Got a shipment waiting in the tangled shore. Pick it up for me. I'll tell Spider you're coming. What does my guardian need? I approve. Okay, sister. This will be a cakewalk. You just picking up a stash. Clear out the area. I got vanguard snitches breathing down my neck. We don't need anybody following you. Patching you the XYZ to the pickup site now. You're looking for a big pile of salvage. You'll know it when you see it. You're close. It's just around the corner. Huh, transmat's down. Maybe the beacon's busted. Uh, tell you what. Fallen crews around here jack vanguard gear all the time. See if you can find a spare beacon. I, uh, got a call coming through that I gotta take. Area's clear. Let's get back to that stash so I can send it over. Hey, Transman's coming through the line. A little spider just told me Shin Malf has been spotted in the EDZ. Remember him? Famous renegade, golden gun, mad on for revenge? He and I had an arrangement. The EDZ was not part of that arrangement. Come on back to base. We gotta regroup. How you living, sister? Hey, kid. Looking good. As my new partner, a couple things about me you should know. I've been pitting a lot of very bad people against some good ones. Could end up being trouble for the city. And there's already been some collateral damage. Eh, hand on my heart, I regret anyone who takes a dirt nap on account of me. But I didn't survive by being indecisive. Through every age and era, Drifter's done what he had to. The Warlords and the Iron Lords taught me that the light is no gift. It brought hell to Earth. 
and when we begged to die, it said hell no. They say the Dark Age was untold suffering. I could tell you a lot. Yeah, maybe next time. Go find the other tapes. I made you tapes. <laughs> You've been my crew for a while, sister. Gambit, Prime, all the good work. And against my better judgment, I trust you. Just a little. But if you're gonna keep hanging with old Drifter, there's some things you should know. I've prepared a little survival guide for you, from the ultimate prepper himself. <laughs> That's me. Step one, get your ass to Europe. Dark Age was different times. We had no city. Warlords and Iron Lords tore up the whole world trying to prove who was better. What was worth fighting for. I was busy trying not to starve. You ever go hungry till you're keeled over? We did that a lot in the Dark Age. Our ghosts would bring us back. Still hungry. Really pissed me off. This one time I found a village to hide out in. A bunch of huts, really. Good people. They gave me work, and I kept my light a secret while I performed some minor miracles. Then the Iron Lords rolled into town. My ghosts stayed out of sight, and they were none the wiser. They cut a deal with us as if we had a choice. Paid us to let them hide out till some warlords showed up, then ambushed them. But we all got caught in the crossfire. My neighbor's kid told me something that still bounces round my head to this day. Right before the light went out in her tiny eyes, she whispered, I can't feel anything. Yeah. I couldn't either. That's all I got. Cut the tape. Hey, kid. It's me, the Drifter. And this is How to Drift, Part 3. Never trust your ghost. He's a tool. A connection to the light. Not a friend. Not in any way that counts. You think he's saving your hide, bringing you back? He's saving his own. I don't care what your guardian dogma says. I don't care what your little buddy has told you. We don't know what ghosts are. They sound friendly, right? But I met some ghosts in the Dark Age. Would kill you for a blue ingram and spit on your grave. All so they could grow their light a little more. Make a stronger connection to the Traveler. Whatever the hell that means. You're an idiot if you think those ghosts aren't still around. Take mine, for example. Really creeps me out. Cut the tape, ghost, and don't give me that look. You know where we stand. If you're gonna hang with me, you need to know about the Shadows of Yore. They follow the edicts of a very bad man named Dredgen Yore. And what are his shadows after? Everything the light can't provide. I thought they could help me find an answer to the battles of light versus light that raged during the Dark Age. But the longer I flew with them, the more I saw, they're blind as all those who follow the Traveler. One albatross for another. I was done with them. And that title I gave out, Dredgen? I did it to piss them off. Draw the shadows out where I could see them. Worked like a charm. I love all you little guardians. You're so forthright, so eager to please. That make you angry? Good. Use it. You can't be the Drifter's partner and not know about Shin Malfer. The man with the golden gun is still out there. He's a hero. The stuff of legend. Naturally, he's after my ghost. He wouldn't be the first. But everyone and their grandma has a malfeasance hand cannon by now. I think we're okay if Mr. Malfer ever shows his face. He follows the light like a zealot. And he ends all those who would consort with the Dark because of one man who went rogue. It's not his golden gun you should be afraid of, kid. It's his idea 
That one man can decide he makes the rules, and when you cross him, he can take everything from you. Doesn't sit right with me. Never will. Mighty kind of the Vanguard to let me sleep in the Annex. Doesn't get cold down there? Much? Do I trust them for it? Hell no. They're getting people killed just like the Iron Lords. Yes, people. Like you and me. Just cause we got the light doesn't mean we ever stop being that. Don't let them tell you otherwise. And that mission statement of theirs? Protecting the city? Yeah. Humanity's done, kid. You can't save them. Even if you could wrap a ward of dawn around this whole town, they'd start dying all on their own. Every single one you save becomes just a memory. I don't need any more of those. You'll get there. You'll see. I thought the city had made you all soft. But there's this hardliner, a warlock named Anor. Pretty sure she's trying to kill me. She crashed a handoff between me and the shadows of yore in Midtown. My uh, buddies took a hostage, and she took out a city block getting them back. Some people didn't make it out. <laughs> How's that for hypocrisy? She jumped the shark on that one. I would have talked them down. No one had to get hurt. I hope the Vanguard are happy. I heard word from hunter dens across the city. This honor has been building a crew to look into me in the shadows. Bunch of clowns. One of them is this Guardian, a hero of the Red War, just like you. One of Cade's friends, just like you. A Gambit regular, except they're a snitch. Have been all this time. I don't mind. As long as they keep bringing moats, we're square. You watch your back out there, partner. Your friends might not be what they seem. Hey! You made it to the last part of my little seminar. <laughs> you caught me without much else to say. Already talked your ear off. But I guess there is one thing. I want you to know that you're the closest thing to a wheel horse I've had in, oh, a thousand years. I can see you making that face like you just swallowed some scorn blood. Wheel horse is an expression, kid. It's Dark Age, for we're tight. That's what you kids say, right? So here's something I never had the chance to tell anyone else on account of they're dead or trying to kill me. Don't give in to hope. That gets you killed. Take every day as it is. Trade your jump ship for a long-range hauler and see the universe while you can. I want the best for you, kid. And you won't find that in this system. Speaking of which, the Collapse wasn't the last extinction-level event to hit humanity. Old Drift has seen another one coming. Everything I'm building in the Nine Realms is preparation. There's a few seats I'm saving. One of them is for you. If you want it. We understand each other a little better now, huh, kid? Just be careful. Seems everyone who knows me is either trying to kill me or... <laughs> dead. A lot of people coming for my ghost. You're sticking your neck out by getting so chummy with me. But hey, if that day comes, they'll eat bullets from both of us. Trust. You're picking the vanguard over me, huh? Ha! <laughs> you. But every man's gotta have a code. I get it. I got one, too. Out of respect for principles, and a righteous fear of Ikora's big-ass shotgun. You do you, kid. But... I'm gonna change your mind about me. Whoever or whatever you think I am, you're wrong. How's that suit you, snitch? Very good. 
We did not expect your friend Anor. Her investigation is wise. A trial. Together you will render judgment. We admire your defiance. But this is bigger than the Dredgen. Bigger than even you. Visit us in due time. We will help you find the truths you seek. Hey, snitch. A little spider told me you're looking for dirt on the Drifter. I didn't want to believe it, but here you are. Running around the Arcology. What do you think you're gonna find? My master plan? A diary, maybe? <laughs> hey, that thing looks tasty. Give it a little nibble for me, brother. Or is it a crime to be hungry, too? So what do you get out of all this, huh? A fistful of hive frass and a whole lot of nothing. But you're not stupid. Neither is your praxic friend. So why'd you do it, kid? Here's my guess. You and your warlock friend are fixing to break my deal with the Vanguard. You sicked shit on the EDZ. You sick the nine on me. I see you coming. Word of advice? If you're planning to take a shot at me, you best not miss. As my new partner, Couple things about me you should know. So there you have it, Snitch. Not gonna hide what I've done, but I'm not bragging either. Just trying to stay alive the best way I know how. You go tell your heroes. Hope they got the dirt they were looking for. Just know that there's too much at stake. You ain't stopping me. <laughs> Many have tried. They're, uh... Well, they're dead now. Well, look at you. You've been collecting names, building a reputation. Your legend keeps growing. The Nine, the Shadows of Yore, Shin Malfer. I keep tabs and they're all talking about you. Everything you touch changes, and some folks hate change. You watch your back, Reckoner. Did you kill Prince Udu? I don't really care, but everyone's asking. Gotta blend in.